I am done growing corn in the shade. Good afternoon. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue, and we are here in Growing Zone 6B in New England, and it is still winter, um, and I got a haul in from MI Gardener this year, so I'm pretty excited about that. I'm gonna be growing some fun things like um, these pink peas and some cylindra beets. Um, there are a lot of beans in this bag. Cucumbers, a lot of the usual suspects. Um, in the box, I have Parisian pickling cukes. I'm gonna do those again. They were the hardiest um, pickling cuke in the garden this year. We had issues with cucumbers, um, which ugh, it's, it had to have been the weather like dampness related. It felt soggy. Um, so this year we're gonna, we're gonna do some different varieties. I'm gonna do some of these up on the hay bales instead of down on the ground. I'm also doing a Boston pickling cucumber, which I like. Something called homemade pickles. We're gonna do that. And lest you think we are only doing pickling cucumbers, which I mean, they're delicious. Why not? Um, I'm doing these Armenian yard long cucumbers this year too, and they look like they could be delicious. So I'm really hoping these work out. It's, I'm definitely doing carrots. I'm going to sow them when I sow my first breakfast radishes, and I am going to hope for the freaking best, man. To this date, my carrots have been small and sad. I picked out two different kinds of carrots, okay? I picked out this Parisian carrot, which I'm told you can pickle with. Um, or we could even jar them if they're small enough. They're so cute. Um, and ox heart carrots. These ones I think I would like to plant in August so that they'll get a frost before we pull them. Um, so these ones will plant late. These will plant early and so over and over maybe. I also have some, I wanna say they're called Black Cosmo carrots. Black Nebula, that's what they are, they're Black Nebula carrots. I have a half a pack left from last year's Sorry Sorry attempts and I have a new plan for these. So we're gonna give it another shot. You know you can plant old seeds, right? Okay, that big box full of stuff. Those are seed packets that I didn't use the last of some such years before. I've got stuff in there that's like five or six years old and it, you know, I still get some germination. So as long as you are keeping your seeds in a cool, dark, dry place, um, they'll last a lot longer than the packets will say. You'll notice they don't say they expire. They'll say they were packaged for and then the year don't worry about it. Just keep planting them until they stop germinating, you know? I did get pepper seeds, um, but mostly I had a whole bunch of pepper seeds. So this year I would like to plant, in, in addition to purple bells, which I've never done before and I'm dying to see, I would like to plant either a jalapeno or a serrano, um, just, you know, like a medium heat kind of pepper and shishito peppers because they're delicious. Uh, sunflowers, because I am all about sunflowers. Oh yes, and sesame, we're doing sesame. We'll grow that alongside the cumin and the caraway and the fennel. I'm most excited about this. I got this for Bill. I don't know um, if you know this about my husband, but he's a coffee fanatic. So we're gonna try and grow this indoors. Um, we'll start this indoors in a couple of weeks, which leads me to the next thing I want to talk about, which is I'm going to winter sow this year. If I'm not direct sowing it, or if I'm not putting it in the greenhouse in May because it's a later crop like winter squash or melons, which love the heat so they get a boost from being in there, um, Everything else is going into milk jugs in a couple of weeks. I'm gonna line it up on the back wall of the house and I'm going to ignore it until it sprouts. I mean, I'll check it to make sure it doesn't get too dry, but really there's not a lot that you do. And I'm gonna take you along on my winter sewing journey. 
Some things I'm still going to start indoors because they need a long, long lead time. And those will be the nightshades and the peppers. One of my biggest joys last year was watching the volunteer tomatillos come up like three or four weeks after I had put in these like 10 inch seedlings. The tomatillos that I put out there, I had been growing inside for five or six weeks. And the tomatillos that started themselves, these volunteers, just boom, they came out of nowhere. They were hardier, they were larger, it bore bigger fruit too. So a few things could have happened, one of them being um, it was a very hardy variety to begin with because it was able to overwinter in the compost, right? Or um, direct sowing works better than dropping in seedlings that were started in an artificial sunshine. I'm really, really looking forward to the winter sowing this year. So we have done it indoors in the window. We have planted seeds in the basement under lights. Um, and I have started seeds in the greenhouse later. We've tried those things and I am told that winter sowing is like 75% set it and forget it, which is right up my alley. I woke up a few years ago to discover that I had depression on board and some anxiety. Uh, and I am doing my best to work on that. I'm on great meds, which totally helps, but um, we're also talking about patterns of behavior. So one of the things I've been working on really hard is being kinder to myself. I don't know if you're like that, like this, but man, I don't want a drill sergeant. You know, I, I want to wake up and go into the delight of the day. So like, I'll find some mornings when I don't want to get out of bed, but then I think, oh man, I get to go see the goats and the chickens. And I'm like, all right, I get to spend the quietest moments of my morning with my animals. And that's what I'm talking about, about getting on my own team and getting out of my own way. You know, I could bitch and moan and stay under the covers, or I could get up and enjoy my creatures. To say I'm planting the garden out for ease and less struggle, you know, I mean, Ruth Stout, she's my hero. We're going to be doing more and more of that as time goes by because we'll have the hay bales. Oh, what a great thing to look forward to. I'm looking for solutions to make the gardening easy. I am, I don't like to be overwhelmed. You know, I don't think anybody does, but I want the gardening to be something joyful in my life. Joy is important. It's baked in there, you know, and I want some of that. I want challenges that will build me mentally and physically as opposed to challenges that will break me <laughs> mentally and physically. Um, so I want little steps. Little steps are a big deal. Uh, learning new skills based on the last skills, crawling before I'm walking. Um, all this stuff is super important. This year is the, this is the year that I really concentrate on not being my own most difficult foe. I'm going to do more of my, my year this year, just doing things that I want to do and not considering, not considering the gatekeepers. Sometimes it's better to ask forgiveness than to ask permission. Rear Admiral Amazing Grace Hopper, look her up. So... Part of that resolution of being kinder to myself, what that really means is I need to stop struggling with me. There's no reason to struggle with myself. That internalized nonsense, you know, we were, us Xers, we were raised to be angry little girls. Thank God for the riot girl movement. I'd have had nowhere to put that in my formative years otherwise. I heard a quote. I heard a quote that gave me just so much comfort the other day. It was, 
Rabbi Simone Jacobson. We are spiritual beings on a physical journey. And it gave me so much relief. Just hearing this gave me so much relief. And I was thinking, why, why then? Why struggle against yourself? Make it the way you want to. We're building our lives here. We're building a life. I'm gonna let the sun in. I'm gonna let the light in. I'm gonna keep my hands in the dirt. I'm gonna put down seeds, see what comes up. Life is temporary. It seems like a really good way to spend it. Stuff I'm looking forward to in the garden this year, the winter sowing, um, a whole bunch of direct seeding, some new varieties, and putting together systems that make things easier. We may have kids on the property this year. You know, I'm, goodness me, I sure hope Drummer is knocked up because I'm pretty sure Piper is not. Uh, so if we have kids, we're gonna be learning that skill and adding it in. One thing at a time, nothing too overwhelming. Um, yeah, let's bring some joy back in. So that's a little bit of what it looks like this year, self-care uh, through systems. And um, yeah, so I'm excited to apply a lot of this to the garden this year. Thanks for hanging out with me today while I fussed around with my seeds and stuff. I hope you come and join me as the season progresses. I will catch you up soon. Take care. So this might be my very favorite spot right now underneath this bean arch. Sometimes I come out and I'll put like a rug down and just hang out here and journal or drink my coffee.